afternoon in Oak Park. And the 20 year mystery that's confounded Daniel Kamen is about to be solved. He's about to meet the artist behind his prize painting of the Wrigley Field bleachers. Here it comes. Here it is. And here he is, Mr. Palazzolo. And at 87 years young and spry, he still goes by Tommy. I came from St. Louis. We first introduced you to Daniel a couple of weeks ago. The retired chiropractor and still practicing Super Cubs fan had been gifted this painting from an old friend by the name of Harold. On the bottom was scrawled Tommy 05. The theory was that it was a nod to a Cubs infielder, Tommy Brown, who played for the Northsiders in 1952 and 53. Leo DeRocher named him Buckshot because his arm was so scattered. He would, he would be a shortstop and he threw it to first base and landed in the seats. And get this, after hanging on his office wall for years, Daniel made the decision to sell it, which he did for 50 bucks. And then he regretted it right away. Oh, big time. I was miserable without it. I didn't know I had an emotional attachment to it. So he bought it back for a bit more than he sold it for. Two grand. I got news. It was worth it. And that's where WGN and our original story that aired comes in. Us trying to help him find the person responsible. So he's renewed his efforts to find out who is the creative genius behind this artwork. I've never known the artist. I've always wanted to know the artist. And wouldn't you know it, Tommy and his bride of more than 50 years, Marsha, were watching. We always look at, listen to Channel 9 at, at, uh, every evening when we go to bed, and there, there he was, and, uh, and you, and, uh, uh, and so I called right away. And he emailed me a picture of his work that was easy to see came from the same eyes and hands. What's more, Tommy is a man of many mediums, an Art Institute graduate who, along with painting... And that's poor Bartman uh, stealing the ball. ...produced and directed films. I took this photo looking south on State Street back in 1960, the year I arrived in Chicago. And has achieved a fair amount of national and international recognition. Tell me where you're going to sign it first. Uh, somewhere in here, let's see. As he explained the piece that Daniel so loves, it was time to put his own John Hancock. I'm not sure my hand is as steady as it used to. To the bleachers and ivy, painted back in 2005, he says, something that Daniel considers to be his own version of a Dutch master. This is a Rembrandt and a Van Gogh all at once. And Tommy's talents don't end there by any means. He's also authored several books, including this one right here on the old Maxwell Street and... As you can see, he signed it for me. He is truly one of Chicago's very own. Patrick Elwood, WGN News.